It's a big day for the WNBA and possibly an even bigger day for the Indiana Fever. Caitlin Clark announced on social media that she's officially ready to hang up her Iowa jersey and join the pros. The announcement catching sports experts and some fans by surprise. I think she could make more in college, so... You know, I, I was a little bit surprised by that. But Locked on Pacers host Tony East says that's not exactly true. Last year's first overall pick, Aliyah Boston, is with the Fever because she has on the record in many interviews said it's a very big myth that players take a pay cut coming from the college game to the pros because Nike's not going to stop having you be a Nike athlete because you are no longer in college. That stays with you. I imagine Caitlin Clark will still be a State Farm staple. Clark has become one of the most popular athletes in the country, selling out stadiums wherever she goes. It's impossible to understate how big this, this really is for the fever. I mean, she is the most popular college basketball star, certainly uh, on the women's side that there's been <laughs> ever potentially. She's a superstar. She's incredible to watch, shooting half-court shots and draining them like it's nothing. It's awesome. Her announcement quickly made her the talk of the city and an even bigger conversation on social media. The Indiana Fever has the first overall pick in the draft, and Fever fans are ready to welcome her to Indiana. Mayor Joe Hogsett already sent out this tweet, writing, Looking forward to welcoming you to Indy, Caitlin. She's going to do great for, the, for women's basketball. I mean, there's no doubt. Women's basketball and the city. Her global popularity, to, I mean, it, it, it's not a stretch to say global, means that everywhere will benefit from her being in the league, and the Fever specifically will be putting a lot more butts in seats this year with Caitlin Clark in the fold. When she comes to town, I will definitely be taking my kids to go see her. She's that exciting. I think economically, there's going to be um, definitely a benefit uh, for the city, along with, uh, uh, along with keeping Indianapolis on the map.